how do you compare democratic and uh, meritocratic governments? Should we balance both of them? I don't think these two are a contradiction. How would you? Um, yeah, no, these are not a contradiction. You could have a democracy where, you know, it's not, if it's not a direct democracy, then Mm. Yeah, so you could have a democracy in a society where people's talents and expertise and achievements are more important than their wealth and, so and social class. And in that way, you will have both democracy and meritocracy. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. Yeah, they're not a contradiction. I think certain... If you have a society where certain values are, you know, it's not like the politicians are being, one of them is, is okay, what, so when, it, when it, one of them is talking about the process in which you choose the politicians and the other one is about who ends up being the politicians, right? So you could have the process being dem, uh, through, demo, through democratic processes that the politicians are selected and people who are selected are selected because they have merit and in that situation people that end up on uh people that end up on top yeah i actually don't think that that's a contradiction let me see where do you get your no that's not it. no um yeah you could okay so a meritocracy a meritocracy could be politicians who are chosen based on their merit by for, without people's say which would be meritoc meritocracy without the democracy i'm just thinking out i never thought about this you, you gotta tell me if i'm wrong okay so i am completely ignorant about this but i think like if you could have undemocratic process that you the, that gets you that result, but you could also get that through democratic processes, no? Especially if you don't have a representative democracy, right? If you have like, if you pick your politicians, let me see, let me see what you guys are saying. Am I right about this? Where do you, I've never thought about this, so I don't know. You guys are saying the, uh, You're saying Singapore and China are more like a meritocratic governments and US and France are democratic governments. Well, then if that's how you guys are looking at it, then there's no difference between saying that and be saying the authoritative, right? Because you, this is like, this seems like another way of just talking about Plato's philosopher kings, right? So you guys are saying that people, uh, a meritocratic system would be something that the people are too dumb to choose their own politicians. So we're going to pick the wise philosopher kings, who people who are no like not trust the people, and just pick people by their merit and expertise. Like, can we? Would it not be? Uh, can we not have both? Like, would it not be the same? Would it not be? Uh, I can't I have a. This is a tongue twister for me. A meritocratic system. If, P if we create a culture where people through democratic processes pick politicians not based on their social class and wealth, but based on their merit, would that not be both democratic and, I have to say this again, meritocratic at the same time? Oof, it's, I guess it's getting better. Would, is that not possible or is by definition, is it by definition a meritocratic system not democratic? Is that by definition? Because you guys seem to say, like, no, it's like China and Singapore are meritocratic. Well, Singapore is also democratic, no? I don't know. But I'm just saying that if this, if meritocratic means like Plato's uh, philosopher kings ruling over the government, then that's horrible because 
there is no if you if you just ignore the will of the people because the the people are dumb and you want to choose the politicians for them that's just a recipe recipe for disaster okay because there is no guarantee that the the process in which you create for the politicians to be selected there's no guarantee that that's not going to become corrupt there's no guarantee like yeah i mean people people be dumb and they choose bad politicians but that's that's the price that you have to pay for not creating a, a system where the politicians end up being completely disconnected from the will of the people, right? Because you might have this idealistic interpretation where you could find these good people who are wise and will do the best for society, but then when you create su such a absolute source of power, you're just going to attract corruption, right? You're just going to attract the people that you know, it's my, like, even if you manage to find people that are just there just to serve the people and they're wise, the fact that once you are there, you have so much power and the people cannot unseat you because you already cut that cord, right? Once you cut the cord, once the people that don't have the say on who's in power, this eventually will become rotten. The reason why eventually will become rotten is because every time, it just, by, just think about it randomly, right? Every time you put like a good, wise, you know, philosopher you know wise man expert or whatever there that um that is doing good for the people well you know if they need to step aside they will step aside if they need to be there they would be there but if you just keep this play just keep this game going eventually every time you put somebody there that wants to be there because of the power that this seat has uh and because of you know then they will now you they're in a position where they will get be able to take full advantage of all the uh, power that this seat gives them without the people being able to unseat them so if you just by the mere nature of how much power the seat now has if you just play this game long enough eventually all of the seats will be filled by people who are just there for the power right uh, and it will just be fully corrupted and there's nothing at that point that could unseat them because you all have already cut the cord from the will of the people right so even though people be dumb democracy is still the best option because any center of power by its very nature because first of all it's very attractive second of all because it's very powerful it can once you get there you cannot be unseated it, it will attract the worst worst of people and by its very nature once it gets that worst of people over there it will they will stay there do you understand what i'm saying so that's the, that's why we need democracy okay it's it, democracy sucks but we don't have anything better hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy cali you know like me then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below because if you subscribe we will send you a free copy of our blasphemous art ebook and let me tell you it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today and we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week so make sure to subscribe link in the description below